getting to be that time again. Time for Panorama Cotton. Panorama, Panorama, Rama, Rama, Rama. Cotton game! Um, this is the third game in the Cotton series, so we're once again going back to our tiny witch Cotton and her quest for Willows. This game plays a little bit differently from the other games, which have been side-scrollers, side-scrolling shooters up until this point. This game instead plays a little bit like, what was the game, Space Harrier? Was it Space Harrier? It's interesting. It also commits the cardinal, a car, the biggest cardinal sin of shmup games, which is making you mash the shoot button. Why would any game do that? Okay, there's also, this game was never released in English and I could not find an English patch, so we could see a whole lot of moon speak. The, I, I at least know what's being said in all of them, so it's not like I can pseudo-translate. All, like, all they're doing here is telling you, hey, these candies, they're called willows, are a thing. They grow magically and help people and do things, and they taste amazing. And that's it. So let's play out some cotton. Uh, I'm gonna go into options. Uh, let's see here, level normal. I'm gonna play on easy because I'm a weenie. Now, of, of note is that playing on different difficulties does change the ending of the game. However, it doesn't change it in any, in any notable way. You still get the ending to the game on easy. However, if you beat it on normal or hard, you get kind of a small bonus scene after that. And the bonus scene has honestly nothing to do with the story. It's just a bonus. So. You could almost consider this, like, easy is normal, and then normal and hard are, like, bonus and bonus two. Yeah, let's play some... Play some cotton! Fidge games! Um, as always, I'm gonna be safe stating, so... Let's keep an eye out for that. Okay, so, um, all that's going on here is they're recounting the events of Cotton 1. Very first one that said, hey, this, like, demon lady came in and hated good things, so she stole all the willows. So the fairy queen or whatever sent the very beautiful silk to go out and solve the problem. So she found this uh, witch person, and they went and beat everybody up, and everything was good. This emphasizes heavily that Silk, the little fairy, is very beautiful. Every single time. Always. Forever. Oh, she's pretty cute. But you can tell who's right in it. Oh no! Something is the haps! Specifically, the queen is acting a little bit crazy, so let's go up and see what's up with her. Oh, this game is also on the Genesis, I should mention. So, difference in graphic fidelity, all that fun noise. Okay, so the queen's up here, she's like yelling at everybody and saying, there's bad things, and to stop this ruinous omen, I must go and stop it. Yeah. And everybody's confused, like, the crap you talking about, lady? I think she ate something bad. So she's got this w real weird little animal that she gets on, and then off they go! So the fairies are like, hey, yo, we gotta go chase d down the queen and make sure everything's okay! And they're like, no, nah, we can't do that because that stupid thing is so fast. And then they're like, hey, it ha apparently has the ability to travel between dimensions, and she did that. So now we're never catching up to her, ever. So Silk's little lady friend there points out that the queen may be acting funny, indeed because she ate something bad. Specifically, there was a burnt, a burnt black willow in the garden. So they check it out, and yeah, it was burnt. 
So apparently there's this whole group of guys that are real nasty and unhappy and unpleasant and nobody likes them anymore. Um, who've just been burning all the willows. So like, the crap haven't we done something about this before? Let's get going. So Silks grabs the stank willow and uh, flies off. Meanwhile, Cotton is very angry about her lack of willows. I imagine that thing is very heavy for a tiny fairy. There's a lot of talking here, but there's not a lot going on. A lot of that was om nom noises. And of course that was the burnt willow. So some slapstick aside, pretty much all that's going on here is Silk says, yeah, that one was burnt. There's this group of guys that don't like willows or whatever and they're burning a lot of them. And then Cotton's like, the crap you talking about? And then they're off to go punch some guys in the schnoz. Because how dare they? Instead of burning them, you should have given them to me. I would have disposed of them in my stomach. So I mentioned this game plays like, uh, what did I call it? What did I say? Space Harrier? Space Harrier. It, it's a third person shooter. Like, here we are. It's kind of crazy. Can I shoot you? Nope, not gonna hit you ever. So, I've had kind of a hard time with this. Wrapping my head around it. But, um, there are different speeds you can move at. I found I had an exceedingly hard time hitting pretty much anything at anything other than the slowest speed. So I'm just gonna keep moving at the slowest speed. Uh, you get experience, I think, by killing dudes. See, now, neat as this is, especially for being on the Genesis, like, this is a rough deal on the Genesis to be able to do something this fancy. But, and as impressive as a lot of the technology that went into this is, like, look how that rainbow road down there is flowing. I will never kill him. Yeah, I killed the fish. Like, it just looks neat, especially when you can get all the different camera angles on it and crap. Okay, so the, uh, the power-ups work just like they did in previous cotton games. I think you level up in this one instead of collecting points. By just killing dudes. Or maybe you still have to collect points. I never know. I can never tell. And it's really hard to collect points in this game. Because you have to, like, stop shooting, but the instant you stop shooting is the instant everything hits you. I'm not even kidding. Like, your shooting is your main defense, I guess. Oh, you also have bombs, so that's cool. Oh yeah, leveling up. I guess it is just by killing guys. I don't know what the level cap is in this game. I've been up to level five. I don't know if you go any higher than that. Okay, I gotta wait so long and everybody's flying at me. Uh, you also have a life gauge because it is kind of hard to not get hit by everything. Just because depth perception is rough. I mean, like, look at this crap. Look, at can go up here this edge and then go whoosh. Pooh! Like, oh my goodness. For being on the Genesis, this is amazing. But it's still kind of rough. <laughs> Star Fox, this ain't. 
gonna go down. There's even branching paths. Look at this crap. Okay, I'm gonna keep shooting at the middle and kind of hope for the best. So there's these other paths you can go down, which is super cool. Oh, I got hit. How dare you. I should have stayed up top. You guys are being jerks. Getting wrecked. Okay, let's save state now that I just got hit in a bunch. I don't know what that shadow is. Oh, it's silk. No, I don't want to go down. You can break these if you break both sides, the little thing falls. Mm. Yeah, I'll go up, why not? I can't see nothing in front of me, so I'm gonna shoot a bunch. Is that sound effect? Huh. Oh, maybe it was me shooting them. You can go up again. I've never been on the up route. Like the up, up route. I'm gonna go up again. Up again! What's it like up here? I don't know what you were, but you existed, so I shot you. That's my primary means of interaction with the world. I don't seem to do anything other than let you shoot them. What happens if I just stay on the top? Are you gonna force me down? I'm going above you. You're gonna force me down. Alrighty. That's cool. I'll deal with that. Okay, I'm level five. I don't know what happens after that. Okay, so middle road deals with these things that all move to not where they they used to be. You can destroy them if you shoot enough. Shoot them enough. Oh yeah, going places. Look at where we're going. I don't know where we're going. What's going on? Look at this graphic. What is that graphic doing? It's all wobbly. It's all wibbly wobbly. I'm gonna blow up as much of this bridge as I can because fudge this bridge. Okay, so that's the boss in the background. Uh, you can get hit in this fight, I'm not sure how. I guess it's these things he's throwing at you that you can't really tell where we're going or what's going on with. He he's actually pretty easy. Yeah! Look at that kangaroo in the background with them big ol' eyes. Ready to punch me. Punch me right in the face. Tea time! So tea time's a little bit rough. I think I got a handle, a better handle on tea time. But the problem is like when you move, all of them move. So it's hard to like wrap your head around where exactly you need to go. But I think the idea though, is they move in such a way that if you see one and you wanna get it, just move yourself over top of it. And everything else kind of moves to be weird about that. Yeah, we did it. Stage two. I'm going to pause and save state. Until next time, everyone, we're going to continue into Panorama Cotton.